Welcome to Satisfactory. My name is Neil Outs and this is episode 24 of our Let's Play campaign. And uh, 24, this um, is one of those, it's getting to that point when it's uh, above 20 where you go start to go like, mm, is there any continued interest in this? But I really uh, appreciate the people who are still following along both on Twitch and here on YouTube. So what we want to do today is uh, we are actually going to cap off with the ultimate thing of crafting ultimate thing of crafting oh that's not what i want here uh turbo motor that is the most awful thing what i want to do is i want to make this one <clears throat> so we have our cooling systems we have our radio controllers we have our motors we actually have rubber but i don't really like the way we make rubber and i haven't hooked it up to the uh, drone system so that's not great so we want to make some rubber and luckily we have a great way to make rubber let's actually do this that is actually by using residue. Where do we have residue? We actually have residue with our power. So since the, that's not a power pole. Uh, so since the last episode, uh, let's see here on YouTube, then, oh, thank you. Complete, uh, that's, I wanted the power pole. We can see now that we are up to 23,400 megawatts, 23,500 megawatts. That's hovering a bit. <clears throat> that means we have now expanded with another 10 gigawatt of power, awesome. And let me just check, uh, do we have things we think we need? Yeah, I think we do. So let's go to take a look at the power plant because the power plant is using diluted fuel and as a byproduct, it has some residual rubber, no, residual resin that we are not using for anything. And I want to use that to create, whee, I want to use it for creating uh, some rubber for us. So we're going to make, make a rubber plant. This also gives us a nice fly. That is our power plant. Each of those columns here is about 10,000. Uh, okay, let me just try and see if we can actually land on this one. Oh, no, we can't. We can't. It's never going to work. This one. Ah, just killing the momentum is always... Oh, never mind. It's close. No, it's close. It's close. So I've... Um, with our power plant over there, we have a, we, we have a number of residue or an amount of residue. Come on, you don't want to, there, just, there we go. And up. We have some residue over here being created. And the recipe here is, uh, it's for fuel, right? Fuel, 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 fuel. This is the recipe used for fuel, crude oil. No, that can't be it. No, it's not. It is this. Where is the recipe? This is the recipe used. Three hundred in gives us four hundred out plus two hundred, and I have. To, that's the core of my my build because this one will then go into building, uh, making the something fuel. I can't remember what fuel it is, but it's the heavy fuel. And uh, so, but we also have two hundred resin for each of my 10,000 megawatt of power plant and I have two, so I have 400 rubber coming in. So what I need to do is get the rubber coming in on this line and it's gonna be one is a transport line and then the next one will be right here. This is going to be our starting position where we are getting some rubber inbound. That's gonna come up here at the higher level. It's gonna come up there and that's gonna be basically our sort of initial location. That means I am going to take this one, one, two, there, maybe. And I'm also going to take that one. This is just, no. Hmm. I guess that one is going to be the, used for the middle. Is it though? No, probably not. I think maybe the middle has to be on this one. Yeah, I think so. Let me try it. We are going to make a single refinery. Here. That one. Let's see if that works. Go from this one. Oh, I love that sound. Bling! Done. Good. This is going to take resin into rubber with residual rubber. So this takes 40 per minute. So I need 10 of these to make enough polymer resin. I may need rubber and that's going to be 400 becomes 200. So I'm going to get 200 rubber per minute. I might say second, but I mean minute. That's pretty good. 
And then I am going to figure out sort of how I want this to build. And I think the answer is... Is that really it? There? And there? And I don't want it closer. Okay, so that's good. One, two, three. And I think they're okay. I think they're pretty good with this build. That one. And again, why do they have to rotate? I do not know. But it is what it is. There, there, and there. I'll take these two out. I'll take these two out. We'll get, we'll just check to see if it works. Yes. Yes. Great, 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 great. And that means, so it comes in here, into that one, and gets split to both sides. All right. Let's uh, continue on this one onwards. It's still not very orange, this part, this side here. That's number four. Number five. Hmm. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Come on. Nine. And finally. No. No. Ten. Yes. So these ones have to be in the middle. And then we need to make this one inbound. Should be pretty simple to get those inbound. They are now going to be turned that way. One, two, three. It's actually going to be pretty simple once all is said and done this build. But that's okay because we also want to make turbo motors with this one. So we need we have a lot of ground to cover in this episode. I want to make sure that all of these are working before we go into the next part. There we go. And the final one. Good thing there's only ten. The advantage are the one of the reasons is why have I built it so far away? Well, because I have lots of oil out here, like that one, for example, you can see out here is 600. So I could actually f fuel two of these columns more. And that means another 20 gigawatt of power could be placed. So I'm actually going to be making it over here. And if it comes in, now it's coming in with 400. But if I have two more, then it comes in with 800, which is ever so slightly more than I can support. But still, if it's 800, I'm just going to call it. That's good enough for the Mark V belt. So this can support... A lot more it can support actually uh, up to this one i can build it so that it can support up to uh 40 gigawatts of power inbound i think that's pretty good that one that one and let's get some mark five builds in they go up here they go there oh auto save got it the yeah, autosave is, it's increasing a bit at the time. It's not a critical thing or anything. And I want those pings all the way through. Oh, you know what I'm missing? I'm missing uh, the power poles. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to do power poles because then I could do this from the hover perspective. And you know, I know you know, I know you like that. I'm actually getting kind of partial to it. So there is that as well. We're going to go over here on this side. Why is it always nighttime when I build? I am going to do a... That one it's gonna be very simple which means the input or the power is also going to be very simple because it just has to be like this and then continue this way first because then i can go uh, hovering that i know you like i'm gonna just pretend that it i do it for your sake so um you'll be happy that i decide to do that that one and hmm, let's put it here there and we can now switch to the hover pack we and let's uh, get this all the way down continue the line so this is the the disadvantage of this part is that you have to build power first and with that that is done I'm now going to get the outbound that is here, here. A lot nicer to build it like this, I, I gotta admit. But I really wish it wouldn't slide when I'm building. 
and they are now this is oops this is where things get a bit tricky when we get over to the end because i must be able to consume oh that's not must be able to consume all of the residual plastic that the residual resin that comes in if i'm not then i get i'm screwed <laughs> very very simple uh, so that's not good that means i am actually going to have a splitter i don't know where but we could just make it something like this and by the way it shouldn't be a smart splitter there and then i am going to have an awesome sink right at this location please let me have room for it yes please let's go there and that goes one two there so that goes in here and that will be taking basically the center one will be an overflow and the left hand side I mean, I'm just going to turn this way, otherwise it's just going to be impossible to realize. And that's going to be just, I mean, I don't think I need this. I just, just set it to rubber. Which will then go into a, this little location here is now reserved for, you guessed it, a drone port. I don't know if you guessed it, but that, it's going to be a drone port. If I have the resources for the drone port, do I? I think I do, and that is exactly where we want the drone port. Take those out for measuring. And then I need to get... From here. Hmm. One, two. There. Nice. And I'm going to need a power pole from... This to this, and this one will be called rubber. Very, very simple. And the way it works, I won't have any drones in it. I won't have any batteries in it because it'll be the requester that has the responsibility to do that. Now, at this point, we just need to set these outbound. That's going to be easy. We have only... Oh, no. Who did that? That one. Oh, I just hope there's no glaring errors in this build. Like uh, the, all of them being misaligned by a tile or something. And if, if there is, then I'm just going to pretend I didn't see it. And then you can comment about it. All right. And this will be 200. So technically, we don't need an M Mark V belt. But we always build everything. Every output belt here is a Mark V belt. Those are the sort of the main transport lines. That is good. This one is residual rubber. I'm going to do a copy. And I'm going to do paste and go all the way down here paste oh all oh, right that's the one we were testing with as and that should give it change all of the red ones to yellow because they have a recipe and they have power so now they're yellow because they just uh missing the inputs and only thing missing is some piping here. Oh. Probably should have been done before. Hmm. Yeah. And this will be the water. Nope. Yes. Yeah. And oh. Interesting how uh, you know, that's actually not just interesting, but also very convenient. And that goes out here. Good. I'm going to just build this right now. That's going to be much easier. Without the belts on. I'm going to drop down here. And, uh... Okay, this whole flying thing, as long when I don't have my power on this side, it's kind of not very easy. And this is going to be 400 water inbound, so that's why I use a Mark II belt or Mark II pipe. That one, and. And here. And then we just use Mark I's for the inbound. That one we can definitely do easily. Nope. 
that one. And then we have, oops, just the last bit. So what we have now is water is coming in. It's all good. We have everything set up. Uh, we have it going into drones. We have going in here for the, oh, no power. Never mind. Uh, that's just going to go to that one. Oh, I have Mark 3 now. And then I'm, all I'm going to need to do is grab it back here. Uh, let's go to this one and build it. I like it. I like how we built all of this now. One, uh, two, three, four, five, six. And let's make sure that we have the belts up and running. And that's going to be a Mark 5 belt going from here. And there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, counting to six. You get a dose of that as well here on on stream. Oh, I don't know. It doesn't seem right. No, it does not seem right. Absolutely did not seem right. One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe? I kind of got confused. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. At this point, we might as well just do it. Might as well just do the rest. So it's going to be just one single cut for all of this. I really, I like building this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I can guarantee you that your the turbo motor that we still have to to go through will be the easiest thing you can ever imagine. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's great. So I'm just going to take it out of this one. Because this one has been... Oh, this has been struggling. You know what? I'm actually going to do this. No. Nope. Because I'm producing... I'm consuming as much as I'm producing, so... Yeah. I'm going to need this to just get in here as fast as possible. It's going to be oversaturating quickly. And we should be seeing the build... And this will now be the realm of the hover pack. All right. They're working. Great. Let's go on to the other side and see if we get any plastic out. Come on, plastic. Yeah, plastic all the way down there. Look at that. All the way from the bottom. And it comes in. All of it goes. Oh, it's not plastic. It's rubber, of course. We have rubber. Perfect. That's all we needed. All we needed. No battery. No drone. No destination. That's how we like it. It is the requester who takes care of that. And then we build it. That I think that's pretty cool. So the next thing we want to build is the turbo motor because now we have all the ingredients. If we just let this one run for a bit, it will actually make all the stuff we need. I wonder if I actually had issues with plastic because of the time. No, the pla the, 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 it didn't drop. Because if this one jams because it can't get rid of the residual, then it's going to be a bad time. Now we're at a position where we should be consuming the speed that we are producing at, so it should never stockpile or it should never jam. So we are going to go back and build a turbo motor. Let me build a platform just in advance so that we can uh, we can start working on it. Let me do that. So here we are after a bit of a supply run. So we hopefully have all the things we need to make make our next build, the turbo motor build. So let's go to our platform that I've prepared for turbo motor. The turbo motor is going to be a big platform, but it's not going to be doing much. It's going to be a really silly uh, build here uh, because I have four things coming in to build the turbo motor, that being cooling system, radio control units, motors, and rubber. And on top of that, so that's already four rubber ports or drone ports. And then on top of that, we need batteries coming in and we need uh, the actual turbo motor going out. So that means six, pla six rope drone ports <clears throat> six drone ports in total that's a bit much and i know it's possible to limit this but uh, i really like having them dedicated and at this point it really doesn't matter uh, power wise at least not for now so that's why i have this platform this is 12 wide as always and 18 deep you can see i've marked these out so that i have the spacing already done for my uh, builds so i am going to take something like this and out here this is just for measuring. 
that one. And that should now be allow us to make the drone ports as we want. Yeah, come on. One closer? No. Yes, there. All right. And then just go down. So the first one is going to be batteries. Then it's going to be, hmm, let's say, cooling systems, radio control units, motors, rubber, and outbound. Good stuff. And we hook it up. And because we just built a lot more power, then it's absolutely not a concern. Oh, what? What happened? Oh, right. I decided to connect these two. That's not how things work. It's actually weird that it is even possible to do that. Oh. There. And the final one. There. Now, the first one is going to be batteries, and batteries are horrendous right now. That's our biggest issue. So, this one is going to be called turbo, motor, and battery. So, I want to get this started on building the batteries immediately so that it can... I was just panicking here. Uh, they can start getting them inbound for us as it is. And I'm going to have five of the portable miners. Let's get those up. Ooh, that's actually going to be a problem, that one. The lack of iron plates. Uh, yeah, that's going to be a problem. All right, I might have to do some some inbounds with other things than iron plates. Huh. Some belts. Yeah, definitely. So let's conserve our iron plates because I'm not going to do an iron plate supply run at this point. There. We got a drone. It's all good. This drone will be connected to the battery there and that should go out unfortunately it's probably not going to do much but i can also set these up here so the next part we want to do is take the outputs and then feed it into all these lines of inputs that means i'm going to need to do an alignment here that is a splitter that's a splitter and that's a splitter and if my recollection is correct that's a good old uh, snapping there splitting is then coming into here That's good. Next, over here. One, two, three. Sometimes they don't snap like that one. Like for some reason it doesn't snap. And then it seems like I just have to do this. And then it should snap. Now it snaps. No idea why, but it's, it's just weird better than just giving up so that might be something about sort of sequence and alignment and I have no idea but um, at least we have a solution for it right now okay. and again that's why we don't set the set anything up on it yet oh, man. ah Yep, just do a ping instead. How is this not working? Wow. I hate that. I hate that. So much. So useless that it can't figure out how to do connections. Come on, fix the damn thing. Yep, and then... I'm not going to be deconstructing it, so we're just unfortunately going to have to just waste more of our iron plates to get these two in. That is what it is. Oh yeah, it also loses its power. There. Alright. Get that. And the other one. Oh, I think I'm not, I'm not running here. There. Good. Okay. Now normally I would I would use this as just a Mark One belt, but that's not going to happen today. So we are going to get uh, bigger, uh, faster belts here. And that one. And I think I actually want to enable all of the requests immediately because that will that will yeah it'll kind of help us I guess. 
This one should be coming in here. Um, that is going to be a Mark V, so it can unload faster. Okay, let's build all of these. This one is going to be turbo motor, and I'll copy that part. And this one was cooling system. I'll build a drone. And I will hook this up to cooling system there. Good. Next will be called cooling system radio control unit. It will have a drone right there. And then it'll be con connected to radio control unit. Boom. And the next one, uh, let's start with the drone. Let's start with the drone. This one's going to be called turbo motor motor yes it is indeed and that will be connected to motor which should be uh, easy and the last one will be called turbo motor rubber and it will be connected to our new rubber build that we just completed great and they are all flying out that's going out that's going out and hopefully, hopefully, we'll have some inbound here. So let me just show you a trick. If I do this, you can see 240, 280, uh, what's it called? Batteries. And I don't have any batteries. I have 200 here. So that means I can now conclude that the inbound, inbound drone that is, well, that's inbound because it's en route, is carrying 80 batteries. That's just how we know it. Now, let's build the most silly thing you probably have uh, seen in uh, in of builds. This design here has is 18 by 6 and what do we want to build? I want to build a Okay, I'm going to wait for auto save. Sorry. There we go. And it is here. Manufacturer. Where do we want it? Um we're starting to build I think I want it here and then here so let's get the manufacturer boom are you seriously only going to make one yes i'm seriously only going to make one because i can't really do much of this i can probably speed it up a bit but not much and that means they uh, <laughs> The point of just getting one of these is because it's super simple to actually do. This is going to be the outbound. Mm, do I want it as a Mark 1? That's going to be here. 1, 2. I might be running out of the Mark 1s if I continue to do this. And that goes in. Cool. Now the next one. And that is going to be from this part. And outbound. So they're coming in. That means this one has to go in on. Oof, gonna be tricky now. There. And the last one, that's the rubber coming in. And there. Let's see how much this is going to be. Oh, I need to make sure that this is uh, powered. I'll power it with that one and then get it out to here. I can take this out. All right. So this one is making turbo motors. Maybe I'll get some of these inbounds. I mean, I can put that one in here. I can put that one in here. I don't have any radio control or radio. Just, oh look at that they're coming they're coming and these ones oh this one is coming inbound and it should okay should have uh let me see you can see it here nope nothing this one has 1800 rubber so it's making pretty quick this one is putting output output and hold on this one is 45 yeah so you know what if i actually want to scale things up i really should maybe make him just go faster just also because it looks kind of silly when they're so slow. There. Let's do that. Now it also looks kind of silly here. Why, are the rub why is the rubber not coming? Oh, the rubber is coming in here. Good. And I think I'm actually just going to be doubling this. Whoop. 
that's going to give us upwards of it's currently using 55 megawatts and i and then it'll be three points something per minute hey this is looking good i'm going to put the ones that i have handcrafted over time in here and come on that okay 166.7 megawatts and it's producing 3.75 that looks good that looks good i am going to just simply take it on a belt which will go down here whoops this is the outbound uh, this is the inbound i think yes it is there uh no i what and turbo motors are gone they're gone and we have a glorious amount of turbo motors and all of 10 turbo motors but it's fine oh whoa 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 there we go turbo motor good right <laughs> that's the silliness <clears throat> of this part so i'm just taking all of this just to get into a single build here and you might look at it and go like oh you can easily support more but i can't i can't support more than than this over time even if i built one more and um, i'm just gonna run out of, of drones very very quickly but what i do want to do is actually take my first mark three here that is going they, we're definitely going to build that because there is one place that is holding up the entire factory because of uh, of i can't because i can't make the mark three drone a mark three miner so that is what we have to fix as sort of instead of just making making those and put them into a box then i really want to make them and actually uh use them there so we have to go back to our hub because i there was something we did not have i can't remember what it was but it was something we didn't have um i can't remember what it was but it was something turbo motors yes uh, supercomputers yes ah there was one other thing can i do minor minor mark three yeah i can Ah, the fused, the fused ones. They're up here. I know I'm bringing the fused back in, back into the hub. So we're gonna get actually now get all the stuff into the hub. The only thing we do not have produced automatically, we have some of the small ones uh, like iron rods and screws that are not sort of uh, in the network. But uh, the only real sort of aggregate product that we don't have is, uh, let's see what was it? It's AI limiters. That's the only thing we don't have. So let's uh, knock that out at some point good now we have all the things we need for a here good stuff i need three of those and we have some of these okay good and what i'm gonna do is i am just going to do how here and then see if we can go to that location it is actually for our aluminium that we don't have what we need oh, i want to stay up here actually the aluminium we don't have is over here by the no Shoot! Ah, oh, man. Okay, that's... That's not a disaster. It's not perfect, though. <laughs> Sorry about that. We'll, tr we'll try again. Ah, that was so smooth. It was so close to being smooth. By just zooming in on it, and then I got a bit cocky and wanted to sort of go around the the rock outcropping. Those drones you see over there are unfortunately unhappy drones. The reason why they're on happy drones is because they're waiting for batteries batteries is the biggest problem we have in the base and that's something we really have to fix uh, so what i'm gonna do is we're gonna go find an easier way up there not an easier but a, a way we have to get up there and fix fix the mark three miner boom here you will see if uh, mine coal's coming in here and that's the one that's holding up everything and there i'm just going to show you look at that pathetic amount of coal coming in we need more coal our clean base needs more coal so we need to go up here to the red forest where we have our little single coal deposit i actually did not think this would be like a massive issue but it turns out that it's kind of a an annoying thing oh yeah there's also a bit of a uh, nuclear waste in this area um I think I'll just skirt around it. I hope. Radiation levels, it's fine. It's fine. 
I feel that this is kind of necessary because otherwise we just end up making something and putting it in a box. No, we want to see why we have done, why we've chosen to build this. And the answer, of course, is because of that one. And now I need to build first one extra. And mark three miners, so it needs somehow three of these manual miners. There we go. And that's a mark three miner. That will be right there. And it'll be on a Mark III 5 belt door there. And it will also have a power pole going in. So this one is a normal. So normally it would be 60, then 120. And if because it is now super duper good here, it'll go up to whoosh 600. Done. It only needs to like 450, I guess. But um, hey. If we can get this all the way out to 600, oh, we're definitely doing that. We are definitely doing that. Looks so weird doing this because it doesn't load. It, it moves faster than it actually creates. And two. Uh. There we go. That is more coal coming in and more coal coming in and more coal coming in. And now we sh should have coal problems solved very, very, very quickly. So these ones have been star starving for coal. Yeah, but now they're no longer starving and they'll be fully saturated in a very short time. Great. See, it's idle because it kind of consumes it faster but now it's going to be continuous production here that's glorious i might just go idle just a bit now yeah idle but anyway we have built we have built our turbo motor we have built our our first mark 3 miner that's excellent and we've seen that how it has now increased our production of aluminium which is kind of something that's been uh, blocking us for a while so thank you very much for watching i hope you are enjoying this what we are what we have left in this uh, playthrough is actually nuclear power and then uh, maybe making some mega base builds and some of those uh, final parts for uh, what's it called yeah final uh, final parts for the space elevator for <clears throat> unlocking the next tier that doesn't exist yet that might be an option as well. Anyway, we are going to wrap it up. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to see, watch more Satisfactory, then come on over to Twitch. I'm streaming this on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays at Twitch TV slash Nilaus. And it is at 8 p.m. Cent 8 p.m. Central European time. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, take care and stay effective.